We're going to continue today's lesson by drawing a rough sketch of a cubic curve. Let's look at the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x. Now, we know the curve crosses the x-axis at y is equal to 0. So in that instance, if we let y equal 0 and we let the curve equal that, we can now find the roots at which this curve crosses the x-axis. So let's forget what's common. And we're going to be left with x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let that all equal to 0. So one of our factor, or one of our roots is x is equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic, xx. We see that there is a repeated root. If we let that equal to 0, it turns out that x is equal to 3. So our coordinates at which this curve crosses the x-axis is 3, 0 and 0, 0. So the curve actually, in fact, goes to the origin. Now, when the curve, when the curve crosses the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So in this instance, y is equal to 0. So once again, we show that the curve crosses through the origin. Now we want to find the turning points of the curve. So to do this, we let dy dx equal to 0. So dy dx of this given curve is 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Let that equal to 0. I'm going to divide across by 3 to make my factorization quicker. Let's get my factors, which will be 3 and 1. Let that equal to 0. So x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. So they are, so from this we can see we have two turning points, one with an x coordinate of 1 and the other with an x coordinate of 3. Now to find my y coordinate for each of these points, you sub them each in to the given y function and you find the corresponding y value. So for x is equal to 1, it turns out that y is in fact equal to 4. So therefore, the first turning point we've found is 1, 4. And when x is equal to 3, it turns out that y is equal to 0. So the coordinate of our second turning point is 3, 0. We now need to determine the nature of these turning points. Are they maximum turning points or minimum turning points? To do this, we carry out our second derivative test. So d squared y dx squared will be equal to 6x minus 12. We now sub in each of the x values, and we, from that we can determine the nature of our turning points. So at x is equal to 1, we'll have 6 times 1 minus 12, which is equal to minus 6, which is less than 0. So therefore, that coordinate, 1, 4, is going to be a maximum turning point. At x is equal to 3, we will come out with positive 6. So therefore, the, the point 3, 0 is our minimum turning point. So at this point, we have enough information now to draw a curve. So I'll just create a little bit of room here. Let's draw our x and y axes. Let's label them appropriately. This is my x-axis, my y-axis. I'll go up as far as 4 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't forget to label everything. So minus 1, minus 2. And I'll go up in 2s on this axis. So I've got 2 and 4. So Let's just recap on what we have. So our curve crosses the x-axis at 0, 0 and 3, 0. So let's draw those in. I'll draw them in green. So we have 0, 0 and we have 3, 0. We have a maximum turning point 
at 1, 4. So let's draw that in. And I have a minimum turning point at 3, 0, which I've already sketched. So let's draw our curve. So once again, try and have a steady hand. And let's do it. So it goes through the origin. down to our minimum turning point, and you can draw it outwards. And there you have it, a rough sketch of the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x. Thank you.